So moving on from the Portsmouth action uh, onto something much more positive. Um, Barnsley women coming up with their first win of the season, uh, Tracy, which lovely to see, lovely to see, wasn't it? It was. It's a nice positive. Um, so yeah, after their promotion last season, they um, so they lost the first game obviously at well. Then the second game they had it abandoned at, at uh, Walls End because it, it was a washout literally. Uh, and yeah, they um, back to uh, oh, well, but on the on the after surf this time, and they they beat Bradford three uh, one after going one 0 down. So yeah, a good result. Um, I spoke to Jess, said they played really well, and um, positives going forward. So on Sunday they are back at home again uh, against Harrogate Town. So if anyone fancies um, a game on Sunday, it's back again at the Astor. So yeah, get down there. But yeah, three good goals. Maddie Foy, I need to mention, she got two. Uh, really good finish as well for one of them. So yeah, keep keep supporting those women when you can and uh, we'll just keep an eye on how they're doing and fingers crossed they continue to uh, have a good season. I've heard that one of them was Devante-esque, um, one of their goals as well. So a solid finish. It's good to Devante see. previous, not yesterday when he missed the net, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Devante against, who did we beat? Burton, Burton, that was Burton, it. Yeah. Devante against yeah. Burton, not, not last night. No, it's good yeah. to see you though. Um, Although I do wish that our game got washed out after 17 minutes. That would have been nice if it had just rained if it had just rained a little bit harder, a little bit more. It's good to see. Um, and if you can get down, go down and support, support the women. Seems like they're getting better results than us um, at the minute. So, well worth the watch. Um, right, Northampton. Um, hopefully a chance to get back to winning ways. Um, we'd be expecting, but then again... We seem a little bit hit and miss now. I think a little bit of doubt's crept in. Do you think, Andy? About us? Oh, I don't know. You can't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to chuck the baby out with the bathwater and get a second time this show. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, one, it's one game. We were outplayed. We're not going to go into that again. And well, I hope for better officiating. Not going to mention refs again. Um, don't, and, you don't I, 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 mention them twice since you said it last. <laughs> I'm, I'm, what did they say? I'm, telling, I'm filming. I'm filming. Yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm filming. Um, <laughs> look, I'm not even going to see this flipping match because we're going to. My Wolverhampton mate has got. Um, this is. He, he has to have his seventieth birthday in Briley Hill near Dudley. He has to have it on a match day, doesn't he? Why couldn't he have had it on the Sunday? Why? 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 why what were all we his mum and dad? Why we have, had to be born on the Saturday when we were playing away? So. I'm not going to, hopefully, it all depends. It all, it all depends where he's having it, whether I can sneak to listen to it, get an earpiece in and listen to um, listen to I follow commentary. I'm going to do my best, but, you know, you never know. So I'm not even going to see it. I'm going to have to watch watch the highlights and what have you. So a bit Couldn't you watch with... game and then just get somebody to video his birthday? Do it that other way around. I'd have to pay for it though, wouldn't I? Because I'm down there. I'm 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 down in the I'm down at West Midlands. So I don't no, know. I mean I mean don't go down for birthday. Just stay up here, watch match, and then just get somebody to video his birthday. Listen, you can't talk like us peaky us peaky blinders gangsters. I got it in, Josh. Us peaky blinder gangsters. I'm going to a peaky blinders night at the Black Country Living Museum on Friday night. I'm getting all all togged up like a flipping peaky blinder. Part of their gang, so I can't, I can't, I'm not missing that as well. You know, I like my flat a birthday bash, a birthday <laughs> bash with my close mate that I've known. Oh dear me, for f- oh, can't get my breath, can't get my breath. 52 years I've been friends with this Wally Martin, but um, you know, so I can hardly miss that. So it's only one game in team, it's away. If you'd have been at home, then obviously I'd have feigned illness, but it's away, so. <laughs> I can get away. I'll get away with it. So I'm relying on you to tell me what it's like when I watch the show back because, um, please, God, that they, they, they've got mixed fortunes, aren't they? they, they, they they're, not, they're not doing brilliantly. But apart from once, they've had pretty close games. You know, Hoskins is their top scorer with three, Sam Hoskins. But they're two central defenders, Sherrin and I can't remember other ones named Guthrie, I think. They've they've had some good, uh, some good reviews to so the... the Pretty strong and solid at the back, um, so it's for me. It's going to be a pretty, uh, a pretty decent game and a pretty close game because that they're not giving many goals away. They're not scoring that many. They're not scoring very many, but they're not giving that many away. So 
you'll see your lot. Smithy's going. He'll be he'll be our roving reporter on the day he's going down. Can't help his son. Oh, there'll be some pictures then. We'll know, oh, yeah. we'll know he's been. We'll know he's been at least. Oh, I'll tell you what there'll be pictures of on Facebook and on all that. There'll be pictures of Smithy with a pint in his hand. There'll be a picture of Smithy with his breakfast in front of him, with his lunch or whatever in front of him. There'll be him in stand with, with some... He'll be stood at the side of some player or somebody else. There'll be pictures I'm just of Smithy about to say, and if, we're, if we're lucky, we'll get him with somebody semi-famous. Oh, he will do. He will do. He can guarantee it. Well, bless him. Listen, don't pick on Smith, he's my mate. He Guess where Watter can't, don't he? Guess where Watter can't. He, he certainly does. But, you know, at his age, he's got to take every chance he can. <laughs> 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 Sorry, um, Alan. He'll start on me now for saying that. So you keep going on about my flipping age. Anyway, I'm going to shut <laughs> up now. Uh, Trace, how do you feel about it? Because obviously going to bring him to newly promoted side, and obviously given our pre-season expectations, this is one that we'd be expecting to... Pick up points from. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna another cliche bounce back ability. This is it now where we're gonna have some. Um, you love that, Josh, don't you? I can tell by your face. Yeah, um, all, cl- all, all, all cliches. Bounce back yeah. ability. Game of two halves. Jack, j- yeah. Jack and hey, I we've performance. Got, we've got, hey, we've had a few of them. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think we'll bounce back. Uh, I am pretty confident. I do think it's not going to be um, a goal fest, as Andy says, from the looks of it. The, the average probably conceding one. Um, fortunately, they tend to score less than one. So, obviously, you know where I'm going from a prediction. Um, but, yeah, I think um, I think he'll definitely make changes, uh, which I, I think is necessary. Uh, I'd like to see... I think O'Keefe definitely deserves a start. I do like Cotter and I think he's done well, but I think O'Keefe on sort of what we've seen when he's come on and I think he was first choice anyway, weren't he, prior to that injury. Uh, but he seems the, the real deal and I, I, I really looking forward to seeing more of him. Um, the interesting one will be whether he goes um, Cadden or Dodgson, because I thought Dodgson did extremely well and I went to the Grimsby game uh, in the Pizza Trophy and he was... Very, very good there. So, yeah, that'll be an interesting one. And obviously, there's the midfield and, and centre forward. So, there's lots to debate in terms of the starting eleven. But yeah, I think um, I think we'll we'll beat them. They're not what are they six bottom? Um, what seven games in? So yeah, they've had a tough start, and I think it's a team that we should be looking to go and go and beat. So, averaging one conceded, scoring less than one. So, you were going for a 5 4 win, then, I suppose, Tracy. <laughs> Absolutely. Based yeah, off yeah. Of that, that's what you were going for. Absolute golf fest. Um, Craig, how do you feel about it? Because it's, it's one of them that we're expecting to win. We've got a little bit of selection today because Tracy's um, alluded to a couple of players that could potentially could come in and push for a start. Is there sort of anyone in particular that you think. Um, as well as sort of the Zio Keith and Cotter, Cadden and um, Dodgen debate. Is anyone else sort of within that that you think might be pushing for a start? Cosgrove. I think Cosgrove needs to start up front. Who's he coming in for? Because last week you said McAtee were going to run this team, so it cannot be McAtee. I'm not happy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be McAtee, yeah, because... Outrageous. <laughs> what a turncoat. Outrageous. Pickle. Pickle. No, <laughs> I, no I, what what I said at last show was is that they each have their own set of attributes that they can come in. It it can run the team, it can by dropping deep and into looking passes, but so can uh, Callum Styles from midfield, and I'm expecting him to start as well. Um, I think he deserves it after that that performance the other day. I think he he pulled his bootstraps up, wouldn't let nobody none of this uh, moaning that was going on. All right, stadium get to him and he put in a real performance that second half. But um, in seeing as though Stato Smith's not here, I thought I'd uh, bring out a few stats. You know, um, oh, here we go, strap yourselves in. Right, so this is what I've got. Right, so the average three shots on target per game. Um, three nil the, then. No, they, <laughs> <laughs> they have the best disciplinary record in the league. By only having ten yellows, no, no, no reds. Two sending uh, offs. They have, the off. sec- they have second lowest amount of tackles won in the league Pappy. so far, Pappy. and they have the least amount of offsides um, of all the slow. clubs. Too slow going. So, <laughs> so gathering from that, 
not over the top balls. They're not going to press rate often. Um, so I can see it being another Burton type match. And um, I think if you <laughs> if you know what prediction I made for that match, I think you'll know what prediction I'll have for this match. Another 5-5. Five, yeah. five. <laughs> Interesting that we're all going high this week. Um, before we get on to predictions, Andy, have you got an update? Is there an I update? Because we are 10 games in and I am nowhere to be seen. So I'm not yeah, going to be nowhere near top. If it makes it, if it makes you feel any better, you've got four points. Four no. points for prediction. Remember, it's one for a correct result, three for a three for a correct score line. Note if you get it wrong, and you've got oh, four it's a points. ten games ten in, games, four points. ten games in, and he's got four points. It's I, I, I can't think. There's only one word I can think to describe it. Terrible, pathetic, pathetic. Right. <laughs> This is where we're at. Remember, it's a 15-game competition, so we're two-thirds way through about 10 games. So we've still to come. We've got Northampton, then we've got Man City Babbies at home. That's That counts. So people Whoa, know that don't, don't, don't you be degrading that cup. That is the finest cup in this country. The Papa John's. 50% off at Papa John's if you've got an EFL season ticket. Pa- Papa John's, Papa John's. It's, 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 it's wrong. Uh, listen, listen. It, uh, under 21s, don't get me going because it's wrong. Then we've got Blackpool at home, Blackie. So Phil Ormby, I'll be interested to see what Phil Ormby predicts. He got it right, you know, result wise. We'll see what he gets. Then Cambridge away, and finally, oh my stars, Exeter away. So that were interesting last year. And they're the, they're the next five games. So with really there. So, so far, 10 games in, 10 games in. This is where we're at. Top of the table. He's top of the table by two points, 13 points. Tony Carlson. Our Swedish correspondent, Tony, he's at the top. Then on 11 points, we've got Big Kev, who didn't... Oh, no. Big Kev. He, didn't, well, he didn't even predict last night. Not even a prediction from him last night, and he's on 11. If he'd have predicted... Well, anyway, he's on 11. Alongside RMB, who's got a different name, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. RMB and Craig Wood, whoever he is, the truth teller, he's equal second. Then behind that, we've got Andy Laycock, We've got Andy Laycock. Then we've got Reese Pierce. I better mention him. We've got Laura Hunter, partner and wife of um, of Tom Webster. <laughs> She's doing better. Than, she's doing better than Tommy. I'll tell you that. And then we've got nine year old, just nine year old, Noah Simcox, or Noah Simcox. Nyers is going to be known. He's on ten. Then we've got on nine points, and I'll not go too much further, except for one. Nine points. We've got Tracy Martin, Andy W, Ilea Mushu, who's only young, Wayne Brown, who's on eight, Marley Clinton's on eight, Isaac, Little Andy's on eight, and I'm on eight. So it's all to play for. It's easy. Get predict predict two right, and you're six points up. So it's you know we're only two thirds way through. It's, it's there for anybody. Come on, Craig, you can do it. You know you can do it, Craig. People will hang on to your coattails, Craig. Anyway, that's me done. Well, I think, well, if it's only... I'm only two games away from top, I not something like that, you know? You've got to get three... Everybody else has got to predict wrong, and you've got to get three exact scores on there to, hey, watch to catch this. up with Tony. Watch so, this. It's, <laughs> it's, it's dark Saturday. <laughs> it's dark Saturday does this come back. I've got a feeling... I've got a yeah, feeling well, you, I'm on form. If you've got a feel, if you've got a feeling, you need to take some up for it. <laughs> I've got to doctors. Don't True. look on Google. Don't look on Google. <laughs> the worst thing you can do. Um, I'll tell you what, Doctor Google says he's a wrong one. That's what it is. <laughs> truth sayer. Truth. That's truth. Right. I was going to say truth sayer. There we go. No. Just hope. not. Just not very good at predicting. Um, we'll quickly get the little ones on before we finish off with our predictions. It was a better second half than it was a first half against Pompey. What do you think the score is going to be? I think it'll be 3 0 to Barnsley against Northampton. I think it'll be 2 1 to Barnsley against Northampton. If you think you're better than predicting than us, get it in the comments down below. You Reds! Right. So I'm going to piggyback off you three. So, Andy, you can go first. And what, what do you reckon to Saturday? I'm, ent- I'm, entirely, I'm entirely sure. Truth teller, like my mate over there. Truth teller, 2 0 to the Reds. 
Barnsley. Come on, whatever colour we're in, because Northampton play in a, in a funny maroon, maroon. colour. So, so to Barnsley. 2-0 mm. to Barnsley. Come on. Crazy. Well, I'm not going to go for 5-4. I'm going to go with my uh, no. knowledgeable stats. And Craig's just uh, convinced me they're not going to they're not going to be offside. They're not going to attack. They're not going to shoot. So, yeah, 1-0. And they're not going to press. Bed. Not going to press. But that don't mean we're not... I'm still going to go 1-0. 1-0 to the Reds. Craig? Well, well Andy's nicked my score. I, I think know. we're going to go back to the 2-0. <laughs> I think we're going to go back to form, go back to status quo and another 2-0. Oh, three wins means if we lose, there's a big opportunity here for a big point swing in my favour. But, but it is 19th in the league, Northampton, who've only scored five goals. Look, you've got to think You've got to think about these things, Craig. We've scored like 18. Of, so I'm think, I'm, I reckon a draw will be at least likely for predictions. So I'm going to go with... 2 0 win for us. <laughs> Not usual nil nil then. <laughs> no, I've uh, I've gone I've gone for a change. So at least at least if I'm wrong, I'm wrong in company. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got it. I've got I've got you two there, there with me as well. If we lose, all four of us are wrong. Um, and instead of just being the the outlier, and he's still on, four points. Yeah, you know, nothing's <laughs> lost. Everyone else will go for wins as well. And I've just got. I, I do. Th- I do think they'll be the hard to break down, though. I do think they are going to be hard to break down. So the good that's thing, why I'm Josh, not going any higher. <laughs> the good thing is that I'll not be on the show on Sunday because, like I've said, I'm away. So I'll not have to eat humble pie if we get hammered. It'll right. be your two. Not- You'll great. also not be able to celebrate if you're eight. So oh, I'll be celebrating. It's my mate's birthday. Yeah, I'll be celebrating no matter what. I'll be gloating because <laughs> I've just got my first prediction <laughs> right at season. By the time it's final whistle, I'll not care. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think responsibly though. That just about. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, um, <laughs> um, that just about wraps up this week. Um, a little bit of a of a longer episode, I'll be honest. Um, but there's a lot a lot of ground to cover. A lot a lot of ground to cover. We will be back on Sunday morning with a Sunday morning breakfast show. Hopefully, it'll be out at least by the morning. We'll see how long it takes to encode it. Seeing as it's taking six and seven hours now. Um, so we'll see how long that takes it, there will be a shout at some point on Sunday so keep your eye on Twitter keep your eye on Facebook, make sure you subscribe make sure you like and have no- notifications on for his videos come in live and yeah, come on you Reds another win, back to winning ways and we'll forget all Let, about Tuesday let's hope for a great performance from the Reds and the officials mm, I'm not bothered if officials are not going to mention refs again <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later